Welcome back to my lectures on Galois theory. Our next topic is an introduction to extension fields. An extension of a field is very simple. A field E is an extension of a field F. If F is a subfield of E, and you know the definition of subfield. But we are going to discuss this extension in the context of the zeros of polynomials over F. So that is where, that is what we are going to do in this topic. So let's start with the definition. A field E is an extension of a field F if F is say subfield of E and is denoted by F less than or equal. We talked about the ring of polynomials of a field and the next definition is a uh, let E be the extension of F. From here onwards I am not going to write F is a field E is also a field and E is an extension of F. This is briefly it says that E is an extension field of a field F. Then I'm going to take a polynomial F of X in F of X. This is the ring of polynomials over F and this is a member of that ring. Then an element alpha in E in E not in F in E not necessarily in F in general it is in E E is a zero of f of x if f of alpha is equal to 0. But sometimes this alpha will be in f. In that case, if alpha belongs to E, f, and f of x belongs to E, so f of x belongs to f of x, such that f of alpha is equal to 0, then x minus alpha is a factor of f of x. And it is called linear factor because the degree of this polynomial is 1. I will give an example here. Let us take an example x square minus 5x plus 6. This is our f of x. And actually this belongs to q of x. All coefficients are coming from the 
ring of polynomials. Then f of 2 is equal to 0 because 2 square 4 minus 10 plus 6 0. So that means 2 is a 0 of f of x. Here this 2 belongs to q. So if 2 belongs to q then x minus 2 is a factor of f of x. You can divide this one. So actually f of x is equal to x minus 2 times x minus 3. That is what this says. Here 2 belongs to q. We will take another example. f of x equal to x square minus 2. This also belongs to, sorry, x square, yeah, minus 2. This also belongs to q of x. Because the coefficients of this polynomials are coming from the ring of rationals. But the zero of this polynomial is root 2. f of root 2 is equal to 0. So 0 2, sorry, root 2 is a 0 of f of x. The difference between these two is that the, the zero belongs to, the zero of the polynomial belongs to Q. Here the zero of the polynomial does not belong to Q, but root two does not belong to But again, we have, a, we have a solution here, but the problem is that 0 does not belong to the base field. So that is a difference here. Here actually our extension in this case, the extension is can be R. So actually root 2 belongs to R. And that contains Q. So here F is Q is R. Alpha belongs to R is a zero of F of X. If F of root 2 is equal to 0. So in this case alpha is root 2. And that does not belong to F. So this alpha need not belong to f. But if it belongs to f, that is this case, then x minus alpha is a factor. x minus 2 is a factor. This here also x minus root 2 is a factor, but x minus 2 is does not belong to q of x. Here also q see x minus root 2 is a factor but does not belong to q of x because root 2 does not belong to q. Okay. Study the factorization of factorization theorem. Like if f of x belongs to f of x, then f of x can be 
factorized into irreducible polynomials. in f of x. Well, if it's, if it's already an irreducible polynomial, that's it. You cannot factorize more. You know, the, the definition of irreducible polynomial is a polynomial in f of x that cannot be factorized. So, another result that comes with this is if f of x belongs to f of x is a polynomial of degree n then the maximum number of zeros of f of x is n. I'll give you some examples uh, on the zeros of polynomials over a field. Our uh, Examples are taken from the ring of polynomials over rational numbers. That is our f is equal to q. So f of x is equal to q of x. We are taking examples from the polynomials with coefficients from rational numbers. One example is x squared minus 5x plus 6. Now give you another example. Um, x cube minus 3x square minus 2x plus 6. And the third example is x square x to the power of 4 minus 5x square plus 6. Just to show the behavior of the zeros of a polynomial uh, from a ring of polynomials over a field. This particular polynomial is the simplest one. The particular polynomial can be factorized into x minus 2 times x minus 3. And these are linear factors, meaning the factor, the, the degree of the factors are 1. And because of this, our zeros are 2 and 3. 2 and 3 are zeros of this polynomial. And the 2 and 3 2 is also a member of Q, 3 is also a member of Q. Both the zeros of this polynomial are coming straight from Q. We don't need to go further than Q to find out the zeros of this polynomial. This polynomial can, be, can also be factorized as x minus 3 times x square minus 2. One of them is linear, but the other is not linear. And it cannot be factorized further. This is the this is this is the um, the the this is how you uh, factorize these polynomials into irreducible polynomials. This is also irreducible polynomial, and this is also irreducible polynomial. You cannot factorize this into smaller polynomials from Q of X. Here, 3 is 
say zero of this point n. But there are two more zeros for this. That is root 2 and minus root 2. Both are not from Q. So we need to find out an extension of Q where the other zeros of this polynomial reside. In this case, we can factorize this, uh, this one into f square minus 2, x square minus 3. This is how you factorize this polynomial into irreducible polynomials. Both of them are irreducible polynomials. And they are not linear. So, here the zeros of this polynomials are root 2 minus root 2 root 3 minus root 3 and none of them are from Q. So we need to find out an extension of Q such that all these uh, roots belong to that extension. So it can it can be in either of the three different ways that you can factorize and find out the zeros of the polynomials. Now the question is this is an example of the ring of polynomials with the Q as the base field. So if in general the question is, is it possible to have an extension E of F such that E of F and an element in E such that for a polynomial f of x in f of x such that f of alpha is equal to 0. Can we always find in a general situation an extension of f such that if you take a polynomial, we can find the zero of that polynomial in that extension. We found here because R is always an extension of Q and R contains root 2, minus root 2, root 3 and minus root 3. That is our problem. So, our objective is to find out an extension of a field F such that for a polynomial in F of X, we can find a zero in that extension. So, let F of X belongs to F of X. This could be any polynomial in f of x. Our objective to find an extension uh, e of f find an e such that is an extension of S and an alpha in E says that f of alpha is equal to zero. But any if, if you 
take any polynomial in f of x that can be factorized into irreducible polynomials. Since f of x can be factorized into irreducible polynomials, it is sufficient to find an extension E of F and alpha belongs to E for an irreducible polynomial. Because every any any, any uh, polynomial can be factorized into irreducible polynomials. If it is already an irreducible polynomial, that's what we are looking for. We are, our aim is to find an extension of f and an element from that extension such that that can be zero of this. So, so instead of any polynomial, I'm going to consider an irreducible polynomial. So, so what we need to do is, <coughs> we need to find an extension, extension of f, find an extension e of f, then <coughs> find the element alpha in E such that P of alpha is equal to 0, where P is the, uh, where P is the um, irreducible polynomial. So, let P of x be an irreducible polynomial in f of x. So first we need to find out an extension of this. P is an irreducible polynomial. Then what do you know? You know that the principal ideal generated by this P of x is maximal. Is a maximal ideal. Is a maximal ideal. That means f of x over the ideal generated by p of x is a field. We found a field now. We need to find out this field is an extension of f and we need to find out an element from here that could be a zero of p of x. So first let us prove that this is a this is a real extension of f. The elements of f of x, the factor, the, this factoring, elements of f of x or p of x are of the form. g of x plus p of x. That is how you write the cosets. Where, where g of x belongs to f of x. g of x belongs to f of x f of x actually contains polynomials over f. That means it contains 
constant polynomials also. So this could, this could be a pol constant polynomial. So this can be also written as like a plus p of x where a belongs to f of f. So this is this is not the only form. In general, you can have a g of x plus p of x, but g of x is a polynomial in f of x, so it could be a constant polynomial. So this is an example of an element from here. So we are going to define a map. Define f2 f of x or p of x by f of a a is coming from f is equal to a plus p of x then c is a homomorphism Phi is a homomorphism. Actually, it is not any homomorphism, it's a 1 1 homomorphism. Phi is 1 1 because you take two elements. If A plus P of X equal to B plus P of X. Then what does that mean? This means that A minus B belongs to P of X. Right? If this is equal to this, so A minus B belongs to P of X. What is A minus B? So A minus B is an element of this. What is P of X? P of X of this factor group is the zero of this factor group. This P of X is the zero of this factor group. So this is actually equal to zero. That implies A is equal to B. So for if you take any two elements, if you take any two mapping, suppose, suppose you take a phi of A, is equal to phi of b that implies a is equal to b that means phi is 1 1 phi is 1 1 so actually what we can do is with phi from f to f of x over p of x we can embed f into f of x or p of x or we can say that f of x over the principal ideal generated by p of x is an extension of f. So, we found a field that is an extension of f. And it is a, you know, you can really embed, you can see all elements of F in here, in this factor ring, as this. So, you know, for every element in F, 
the corresponding element in this field is a plus p of x. For every element in a in f, the corresponding element in the, the extension field is a plus p of x. So, this is actually an extension of f. The next we need to prove that we have an element in this field that could be a candidate for the zero of p, p of x. So we already found an extension of f. So f of x over the ideal generated by the irreducible polynomial, irreducible polynomial is an extension field of f. And as I said, every element of f can be considered as a plus p of x in the extension field. This is our E. As I said before, the elements of this field are of this form in general. G of x plus P of x. For the mapping purpose, we took this element. We have some more elements here. It's only one one, it's not on two. There are more elements in here than in F. And that is why we are saying it's an extension field. We took some exam, took some elements from this factor field to prove that that is an extension of F. We are going to take another type of element to find out an element such that that element could be a 0 of f of x or p of x. That element is, so that element is actually let alpha is equal to x plus p of x. This is definitely is an element of f of x or p of x. This is actually in this form. Now, p of x is a polynomial in f of x, an irreducible polynomial in f of x. So let p of x is equal to a0 plus a1 x plus a2 x square plus dash dash a n x n. A, a polynomial in f of x. Now we apply this. See, another thing you want to remember is that is that an element um, uh, let's say alpha is equal to x plus p of x then what is alpha square x plus p of x whole square and that is actually equal to x square plus p of x That is because how you how did you define the multiplication in a factor ring a plus uh, p of x times b plus p of x is equal to a b plus p of x. 
So this is the result of square. If it is a cube, it will be x cube. So, so that is how we are going to do the exponential of x. So here, my aim is to prove that p alpha is equal to 0. So p of alpha is equal to a0 plus a1 alpha plus p of x sorry x plus p of x sorry x plus p of x plus a2 here it will be x square is equal to x square plus p of x because of that plus dash 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 plus x to a to the power of n times so a n times x to the power of n plus p of x. So if you expand this one, what happens here? A0 plus A1x plus A2x square plus dash 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 ANXN plus P of X. Because you are adding the elements in a corset. And what is this? This is our P of X plus P of X. This P of X actually is contained in here because this is the ideal, principal ideal generated by P of X. So P of X actually is in P of X, the ideal generated by P of X. So this is actually equal to P of X. The ideal generated by P of X. And what is this? This is actually the zero of the extension field. The zero of this extension field is the ideal generated by P of X because this is a factor field, a quotient field. So the always the zero of this quotient field will be the denominator. So what we have is P of alpha is equal to zero. That implies alpha is a zero of p of x and that is what we want to prove we want to prove that there is an extension of f which we found and we want to prove there is an element in that extension that is a zero of this irreducible polynomial and that is this So for any polynomial in f of x, we can find an f and an element from that extension. We can find an extension of f and an element from that extension such that it could be a zero of that polynomial. 